all killed in an explosion during protests as Stephen was condemned in the introduction of the war. One allegedly killed in an explosion during protest. One person has been reported killed, and another has suffered severe injuries following what is believed to be an explosion during demonstration in Port Accord at the capital of River State on Tuesday. The event took place close to the presidential hotel in Port Accord. Nonetheless, in a statement expressing their displeasure and questioning the need for such violent tactics in politics, the All-Progressive Congress, APC, through its spokesperson, Darlene Tinguaju, said, We are miffed by deployment of guerrilla warfare to our polity and wonder why this ugly narrative must always headline political activities in River State. Regrettably, this shameful and unfortunate incident reminds us of the January 19, 2023 bombing of the APC campaign venue at Rumawaji Town Hall, another suburb of Polarco, which left six APC members injured and all the signs point to the same group who seem to have the privilege of getting away with whatever violent crime they launched. We, therefore, await full disclosures by the police on the identity of the courier of the IED, his actual mission and accomplices and their, and their sponsors, unquote. Joining us is River State APC spokesperson, Danny Tiwaju, and also joining us is the chairman, MOA, local government area of River State, Honorable Chidi Lloyd. Gentlemen, welcome to Plus Politics. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Mr. Abola. Thank you for having me. Honorable Chidi Lloyd, uh, my producer has been generous. Uh, he's still addressing you as the Honorable Chairman of. Uh, the local government, but as it is now, the governor of River State, some uh, political characters in River State believe that your tenure has expired and that if you, if you still parade yourself as the chairman, you are parading yourself in, in an illegality. How would you respond to that, sir? First of all, Bola, uh, the uh, arm of government which I represent, the local government, is not does not exist at the mercy of any individual. Okay, uh, I, I, I I'd like to say that all of these issues, all of the issues you have raised, are at various levels of court for determination. Uh, some appeals have been heard and judgment reserved, and so on and so forth. So I, I want to be careful with the kind of comments uh, I, would, I would make on this program with regard to issues that are already sub -judice. That is to say, on issues that are already before uh, the courts. So okay. as to his, his, his introduction of my person, I think he is within his rights to introduce me as the chairman of Remo of our local government. Okay, I, I, I'll come back to you, Honorable Chidi Loy. Uh, Honorable Wajju, uh, yes, there are developments in your state that are not quite uh, uh, uplifting. We've, we've uh, mm. quoted you on, on a remark that seems to indicate the fact that you are not a very happy man given some of the uh, developments you are seeing. But your party too, or even uh, the, the officially recognized faction of your party in River State, uh, 
is getting itself into a mess that ordinarily should be internal to the to the PDP. How would you respond to that? Well, um, I think that I need to be particular on this uh, issue that is uh, the uh, subject matter for discussion this evening. Uh, the internal issues between both the APC in River State and the PDP are, as we well know, uh, very internal uh, to us. Ours is still uh, in cause for determination. However, I am very much interested in uh, discussing the issues pertaining to uh, violence uh, creeping into uh, 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 our pol body polity in this state. Because there seems to be a trend. And um, if you would recall, I vividly pointed out on uh, paragraph two of that statement of an incident which of unfortunately occurred on the 19th day of January 2023, which up to date um, has not, uh, the police has not told us who actually planted the uh, improvised uh, 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 devices at the venue of our campaigns. And so for me, uh, I, I, I've been interested in discussing these issues because they are very germane to the development of the state and also to the progress of the state, given the fact that River State uh, remains um, the uh, oil capital of Nigeria. And whatever affects the state automatically affects the of the nation. So it's not something or issues that people should uh, treat with their uh, kids' groups. When um, a particular uh, area of Portugal's reality happens, is an area that is so, so sensitive, very close to uh, uh, hotel presidential. And I think that is about the biggest uh, hotel, uh, is arguably the biggest in River State. So I am very much uh, concerned with discussing the events of uh, two days ago. Uh, Honorable Chidi Lloyd, uh, we are in a situation now where uh, the political ecosystem in River State is suffused with litigations. Um, to be honest with you, the, the more one looks into it, the more uh, the seemingly more obfuscated it gets. You exactly. one one court judgment running running riot against another court uh, pronouncement, uh, consolidation of of actions across courts and uh, parties, and we are where we are now is degenerating into into evidenced violence as a bona fide leader what is your take of all these developments especially the element of violence that is getting into the picture well Bola, uh, i'm as i'm as concerned as you are uh, but suffice it to say that uh, I have very little or nothing to talk about the subject matter under review. Uh, we all read from uh, uh, the news, we listened to the news and read newspapers about a certain explosion that took place in some reserved part of uh, Port Harcourt. And uh, the police is currently carrying out investigations. Uh, I'd like to be very careful what I say. Uh, with regard pertaining to that incident, so that I would not jeopardize the investigation. I would not uh, put the police in a state of fait accompli. So I, I, I'd rather uh, wait for the outcome of the investigation of the police. And on the other hand, you talked about the various uh, litigations that uh, uh, are currently uh, facing. 
political actors in River State. Uh, that on the second, that too, I would be careful uh, in order not to make any comments that will uh, uh, render the issues in court not uh, so that I am not quoted as having said something that will affect the rest of the matter in the courts. However, uh, you, you, you mentioned the issue of conflicting judgments and consolidation and all that. Well, for every wrong, there is a remedy. Uh, the the causes, I'm sure, begins at the court of first instance. So if anybody feels there has been a miscarriage of justice, there is still an avenue for such a fellow to ventilate his uh, anger. So you will have the court of appeal and the Supreme Court, where most of these causes will ultimately go to. So I'd like to uh, discuss uh, all of that federally the way I have done, while we await the decision of the court. We can then discuss the decisions of the court, not uh, 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 subject matters that are currently subjudice, okay. so that we do not also render the subject matter derogatory. Uh, in so much yes. as uh, in so much as any any uh, well-trained journalist would respect your submission on the need to be circumspect about matters in, in court, um, you are a leader in your community, and in so much as one would respect your your. Uh, your dignified position on respecting court processes and the rule of law in general, what is compelled to want to ask you that are you one of those who subscribed to the protest that the, pro the police, one of the so-called former chairman who subscribed to the position that the police should, should keep closing local government secretariats. Are you one of those who subscribe to that? But we do respect, is it, Bola? this is the reason why I said I will be very careful the things I said. I, I, I do not think you are fair to me when you refer to me as one of the so-called Local government chairman. I don't think that is very proper. Okay, uh, I take it I back. A... I take it back. I take it back. All right, okay. thank you very much. Are you, are you one of the leaders? Are you one of the yes. leaders in Rivers? Yes, yes. Who what mean... happened? What happened? I can let me lay the background. We woke up when uh, on on Tuesday uh, last week, that was a public holiday, which was the 17th of June. We woke up to all kinds of Razzmatazz that took place in the 23 local government areas in the state, where some persons brandishing all kinds of weapons went in a, in a manner that suggests uh, as if uh, there were territories to be conquered. Some persons bolted into council headquarters and uh, claimed to have taken over the council headquarters. So, this was done on a public holiday. And there are issues already. There are issues uh, uh, before the courts. And in one of the courts, parties have been asked to uh, maintain status quo. So we now find things happening in quick succession. So recall also that we read from uh, the National Union of Local Government Employees, otherwise known as NOLGE, uh, issued a statement uh, with, the, with the NLC calling out its workers uh, to come uh, uh, to the council headquarters and stage a protest with a view to asking the police to leave the premises of the local government council. So we felt that Nolge cannot claim to be neutral in this matter. That Nolge is an interested party, and Nolge has turned politicians because they made nominations into the caretaker committees 
that was put in place by the governor in all of the 23 local government areas. Therefore, they are the trusted parties. So we first one to uh, the order of court for parties to maintain status quo. Also called up, called out our supporters to come so that we go and face uh, members of the Norway political party who are already very interested parties in what is going on. That was the reason for the for the protest that we came out. It was a peaceful protest in solidarity with the police. Okay, in, in view in view of the factual portraiture you've just given us now. I'm sitting here now wondering, oh, so if I were to live in, in your jurisdiction and I just gave birth to a bouncing baby boy or girl, I cannot register the birth of that child now because that ordinarily, uh, okay, let's even say if there were to be a death in the family, in one of the families in your jurisdiction, that death may not, they may not be able to regis register that death now. Many other implications for having the local government secretary are totally closed. When ordinarily, the political class, even when your, when your argument is powerful and understandable, it should be the political class that should be extricated away from the picture, but life should go on normally for residents and uh, denizens of, of the local government. I'm just thinking aloud. Yeah, Bola, I, I, Bola, Bola I, I, am, I am as uh, shocked as you are at the turn of events. But you see, that is why we say that people should endeavor to play by the rules. When persons who ought to be neutral descend into the arena, then they will also play by the rules of the arena. When you perceive in a dispute among political gladiators, you now find members of the National Union of Local Government employees as members of the category committee, then uh, we will also deploy uh, the rules of the game. That is what has happened. However, if within this period we see it as a circumstance that was not foreseen, but the governor of River State had also directed members of the caretaker committee to operate from anywhere. So deaths and bets will be registered from anywhere. Okay, let me go, let, let me go to Waju. Waju. Uh, we are in a situation now where uh, it does seem that the voice of uh, reason or voices of reason are getting daily subsumed in rivers. Mm. The political class seems to not only be be uh, major players in the political class are not only uh, getting more and more narcissistic, but we are in a situation where it is now affecting the basic existential uh, of, of citizens. When common things cannot be done and done through the right sources. Where are we, Uwanju? You also, you are a resident of one of the local government areas in rivers. And there must be one way or the other that this is affecting you, if not directly, affecting people connected to you. Where are we? Well, uh, let me clearly say that um, we must uh, put in perspective the fact that this uh, so-called protest actually went ahead in total uh, disregard and defilement to the uh, advisory issued by the police authorities in River State. I am aware of a press statement that was issued by S.P. Grace Iringe Koko, 
the uh, police bureau in River State warning against such protests. And it was on the strength of that that the non-gay, the joint labor uh, body in River State withdrew their earlier threats of going on a protest. And so I, I do not see the logic, I do not understand and I do not agree with the logic behind that protest, given the fact that there was an existing uh, police advisory against protests, warning of possible hijack. And so based on that, I was not surprised at the turn of events when the report filled that day that uh, uh, some uh, ID had been detonated. I, I, I was not surprised. Given the history, like I clearly mentioned, on the 19th of January 2023, in February of 2023, a member of the PDP, one person, a, a Banibo, who unfortunately lost his life, went on a suicide mission with an IED, the same IED. So that is why I am saying, why must politics in this state deteriorate to uh, guerrilla warfare? We have people now play with IEDs. I think they are playing with choice. Well, well, you, well, I'll come back to you. Honorable Chief Deloitte, uh, why you seems to be uh, politely, discreetly, and intelligently building a case against the position of those of you, Chairman, who supported that protest. One, because, let's be honest with ourselves, there was a prima facie pronouncement by the, by the police that none of the parties should undertake a pu public protest. I guess maybe as a result of your argument, that's the argument of the pro wiki chairman, and now they realize that now they and the labor movement realize that they may have they, they may be going in the direction of stigmatizing themselves because of their direct involvement. They pronounced the eve of this that there was not going to be any protest anymore. In so much as there was no in, in so much as yeah. they are protest, they, they are pronounced that there was not going to be any protest anymore. Why did leaders of the leaders of the state like yourself, why did you allow this other pro wicked protest or anti Fubara, anti CTC protest to go on? And given the reasoning that Mwaju is positing now, he is saying that there is a there is a, a precedent of a sort. If it sounds like the dog, walks like the dog, you know, and, and apart from that, some are even saying, he may be somewhat discreet about that, but let me go ahead and put it to you, sir. That some are saying that those of you who are anti fubara are quite inclined to making sure that the degree to which this orderliness Anarchy can be defined in rivers is going to suit your position because that may engender having the National Assembly and the President declare a state of emergency in River State. How would you respond to all those lines of reasoning as, as you know, subtle accusations and some frontal position against? What you are saying is a genuine and law, lawful protest for the protection of your rights. Well, Bola, I, I, you know, in, I, have, I have tried as much as possible to restrain myself uh, from making certain comments. But I'd like to start from the last one. Uh, I, I, I would please plead with you not to bring in the name of the FCT minister into this discussion. Because it, it, there is a trend that I'm noticing, that if his name is not mentioned, maybe the program will not be viewed by viewers or so. You and I are talking, and I am telling you that 
we, the former council, the uh, chairman of council, went on a protest. Now, I don't see where uh, uh, we comes in into this. And you have described me as anti fubara I don't think that is very correct. When, uh, during the general elections, we were walking around the club, two and nail from the campaigns up until the general election to make sure that Governor Fubara emerged as the governor of River State and uh, defeating other political opponents. But uh, you didn't describe me as anti fubara However, I want to say this. I, I, I you know, you know what what goes around turns around. I want to uh, uh, maybe say that uh, uh, the 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 uh, twenty one local government chairman may have learned from Dalit the Wuju uh, how uh, maybe uh, not to respect advisories. You are aware that the All Progressive Congress, led by Alaji uh, Abdullahi Ganduje had set up a caretaker committee in the states and uh, uh, also appointed uh, Chief Tony Okocha as the chairman of the caretaker committee in the state and uh, Honorable Chibike Ikenga as the spokesperson of the caretaker committee for the All Progressive Congress. Uh, but to my chagrin, I heard your intro of Dalit Wuju. You described him as the spokesperson. So maybe we have learned from, from, from him how not to uh, obey advisories. Okay, uh, I, I'll come back to you, Honorable Chief Deloitte. Uh, you know, I've always told you, and I will reiterate it, that your intellectual persona is... Uh, mm -mm. But having said that, you must also realize that those who are listening to you, because now you, you counseled me or you you uh, made the point that I shouldn't mention the name of uh, uh, Honorable uh, Honorable uh, yes, um, Wiki. and you know, uh, you know, you are You know that his name cannot be extricated from the <laughs> Ferrari. You know, you know. Wow. Apart from that, here you are again. You 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 intellectually gave me some dabs, you know, that we may be using the name of the honorable minister to seek for this thing. But you also know that how can we speak of the big masquerade and not at some point? You know, at least like this no, that, is, that is Bola, that is the point, that is the point I'm making, sir. That there is a deliberate attempt. By, by political opponents, not enemies. We don't see any opponents here as enemies. I'll be in that some persons have that Christian others enemies. There have been a deliberate attempt by political opponents to cast as much as passion on the person of the Honorable Minister of the FCT. Who and, is today? Who is and, today? And, and the, the Lord. You, yes. you, you uh, unfairly again, you even took me on ancient history and told me how you labored, people like you labored for the emergence of. of as, the, uh, as, the, as the history uh, becomes ancient, uh, as the governor, but Bola, you, has that history become ancient? You, you know, as we speak, that that history is in every material particular. Of solicent to the reality of today. <laughs> and here you are pushing me left, right, and center. But God will forgive you. I will go to <laughs> I will go to I will go to Waju now. Uh, okay. uh, Honorable Waju, look at the backhand and the head boot yeah. with which uh, <laughs> Honorable Chidi Lloyd has uh, retorted or has uh, uh, I don't know what to say, but look at the where he has also given it to you that you are steeped in, you are also steeped in illegality, defying the leadership of your party. You are set to be, you are, you are accepted without a positive correction to be addressed in the capacity that you are, you no longer functioning <laughs> in your party. You are parading yourself 
I love my word, though, because you two, you also, you also <laughs> reason the now that they have, you know, they seem to have a precedent, uh, or they, they seem to have the antecedent of IED uh, explosions. How would you respond to, to his take? I want to be back. Well, uh, well, I am not surprised because um, I've listened to several conversations and uh, interviews by uh, Dr. Chidi Lloyd. And I am aware that he does not uh, he does not disappoint at all. Um, he enjoys uh, um, ridiculing other persons' uh, personalities. He enjoys uh, talking in a manner as to debase other human beings. Um, and most of the times, I, I do. I have never agreed with uh, his uh, intellectual flow when it comes to discussions. Now, let me say this: I thought at the beginning of this conversation that it was going to, it was going to be as um, as polite and as gentlemanly as possible. But again, he has drifted into his, uh, his normal self. Now, let me say this. He is trying to make listeners to believe, or the viewers to believe, that he is still acting as chairman of council. And you and I know that the Constitution of the Federal Republic does not uh, support any elongation. And I had earlier on posited that both the PDP and the APC in River State are immersed in crisis. Um, and unfortunately, uh, that of the APC it has to do particularly with uh, the authenticity of the uh, current uh, leaderships that, that are laying claims to the structure, the party structure. We've several have been on this show, and we've discussed, we've deliberated on this, even uh, uh, against uh, Ikenga on the other side. We have, you can, you have been the moderator in all these uh, interviews. So uh, I will say again that if he thinks that he could uh, gladly accept to be referred to as chairman, uh, even when his tenure has uh, expired, because he took an oath for three years and he knows so. And uh, the, the mandate that was given to me freely on the 16th of October 2021 is there to expire. And he thinks I should accept the fact that people should come to the back door to remove me out of office. And then him himself, whose tenure has genuinely by the Constitution of the Federal Republic expired, refuses to go away. I wonder what he thinks. Does he think that others are dumb? So that, that is my what answer you, to that. What, Let what us you? stick to the issue. Let us stick to you. why you what invited you. us, which is, I know, I know which is the what. fact that violence was introduced on the 25th day of June 2024 in a so-called protest led by people like him. So let us stick to that issue. Let us try to... Uh, uh, dissect it as, as much as possible so that uh, the, the viewers can now take uh, make their own uh, uh, judgments. Yes. You, that that protest yes, did not just did not just come in, into being. It came into being in the context of uh, in the context of an evolving controversy. And honorable mm -hmm. under the under the government that you pallied with, that's the Rotimina Amechi government, there was an instance when, as a result of the legislation of the River Status of Assembly, you the local government was directly con tampered with from the state house. Now, I'm sitting here now that if Chi Deloy and his colleagues, if they are parading themselves as the chairpersons of local government 
councils in River State, their claim to that, to that, mm -hmm. uh, their reasoning to that claim could easily be predicated on the enactment of the River State Act of Assembly before the bifurcation by the governor that says because the governor and the, and the government of River State had not done what it ought to do, their tenor were the tenor was elongated for six months, although it's under litigation. So why is it difficult for, for people to just, okay, let's wait for the pronouncement of court. Why is that difficult? Why are people, why, why is self air which you and I know, why is self air coming into the picture when ordinarily there are litigations that if pronounced on would instruct the validity or otherwise of their claims? Why can't people just wait for the pronouncements? Just talking, just thinking aloud. Uh, you don't now, 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 let me, let me say this. You are talking of uh, persons resorting to self-help. Have I ever resorted to self-help since uh, Gandhi made the uh, protest on uh, November 24th last year? I've never resorted to self-help. We have never mobilized people to the streets. We have never done that. Now, like I said before, we need to, as much as possible, not run away from the issue at hand. What happened on the 25th of June was avoidable. Number one, there was a police advisory against protests. And number two, if you claim that you are protesting in support of the police barricade of the uh, various councils in River State, why introduce violence? Okay. Why the introduction of violence? Let me, so let me go I, to... I, I, think, I think we should not massage the issues at stake. We should go straight to the point and argue, make our arguments reasonably because people are listening in reverse. People are watching this program and they know the truth. No matter how we try to massage, uh, use grammatical construct, use legalese in order to run away from truth, you can never run away from the truth. Uh, Honorable Chief Deloy, uh, yes. it, 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 it does seem that, uh, that you and your colleagues, those who are... Sorry, Mr. Bola. Sorry, Mr. Bola. Sorry, sorry, please. There, there, are, there is another angle. There is another leg to the question you threw at me. Now, uh, the issue of uh, under me and Michi, if uh, the House of Assembly tampered with... Uh, with uh, councils in River State, there was a time when uh, 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 the legislature in River State under Amici made amendments. Uh, Dr. Chidi Lloyd was part of that uh, uh, that uh, uh, legislature, so there was never a time when okay. 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 tenures okay. of chairman okay. was okay. extended. There was never a time when tenures were manipulated. There was never a time so things happened. Okay, 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 I'll come back to you. Uh, Honorable Chidi Lloyd, uh, we are in a situation now where some are saying that there is a distinct pronouncement of court in validating that, that tenure elongation by, by the Amewule, Amewule legislature. That's the uh, House of Assembly. Now, in view of that, and in view of the fact that real politics speaks to the fact that the other legis le legislative chamber, which the governor believes is the requisite constitutional, constitutionally recognized, that they have frowned against the tenor elongation and they have, they have vetted people for CTC, why can't you and your colleagues just resort to the instrumentality of the court? Why the street protest when you should reasonably know 
that street protest could be hijacked by characters who may even want to malign and stigmatize people like you. Look at what see, look at the reasoning that Waju is positing now. I may not be peculiar to Waju, but may be common among some people in rivers that you deliberately went out or authorized the going out of those who ostensibly went out to protest because you knew that the reputation of River State could be could be damaged as a result of of that uh, protest. An opportunity, Lloyd. Well, Bola, I was almost thinking that uh, I am I was invited for this program merely to listen. Uh, you were, I thought you would have uh, called my younger brother Dalins into order when he was freely casting as passion from my person. Uh, but you didn't do that. Uh, I want to say that Darlington was not correct when he said that the Constitution does not uh, allow for tenure elongation. No, the Constitution does, especially as Section 135 of, 19, of 1999 Constitution as amended. However, it is, it let me, it is also instructive to inform that the issues of a tenure or what are you of local governments, it is not a constitutional matter. The constitution has donated everything that concerns the establishment, structure, administration, etc., of local governments to the state houses of assembly in section 7 sub 1 of the 1999 constitution also as amended. I did say uh, from the beginning of this program, that I am not competent to discuss the issues that the police are currently investigating. If my brother Darlington knows anything that uh, either remotely or uh, whatever, if he knows anything about the incident of the of the explosion. Let Darlington do well to inform the police. I, I do not know anything about it because he has, he has made statements here that suggest as though the, the explosion took place in Emoha. I am from Emoha, and uh, the, the rally which we, we held was... Uh, that was two place in Emma. So if he knows anything about the bomb blast, let him inform the police. That is the much I can say about that. However, when you talk about the justice they get the Mark Q, the justice they get the Mark Q judgment on the tenure elongation. I thought on one breath they say the right of Rebel Matis Amehule and his colleagues are no longer part are no longer members of the River State House of Assembly. And on another breath, I see people go to challenge uh, the laws that they pass. However, for the, for the benefit of listeners, uh, Justice Jacket Abankio did not annul the law. What he did was to expunge Section 9, where the amendment was caused. The amendment or amendment number four of 2004, as caused by the River State House of Assembly. Justice Kio expunged it the, to the session that deals with tenure elongation. There are other sessions in that law which forbids caretaker of constitution of caretaker committee, which forbids the use of the head of local government administration. Those sections are still alive, save for the section nine, which the judge found that and expunged. However, like I told you, I have an issue. I said that is the court of first instance. Now, right on Rebola uh, and his colleagues are now before the court of appeal, where the appeal briefs have been adopted and the, uh, uh, the noble lord have reserved judgment to a date that will be communicated to parties. So that is the much I can say about that. So it is not as if 
the court of first instance will now become the Supreme Court. I know that all of these issues will get to the Supreme Court. And for, for legal researchers, it will be a good thing. So that at the end of the day, it will further uh, uh, reach, uh, reach our jurisprudence. We will know whether three members can constitute a House of Assembly, strict to censor, in the 32 member House of Assembly, especially three members who were suspended from the House, whether they can constitute a House, strict to censor. Then what happens to quorum? What happens to quorum and all of that? That is why, Bola, I pleaded with you not to drag me into discussing extensively the issues that are before the honorable lords. Okay, honorable Chidi, uh, without discussing the particulars of the matters or the, or the uh, issues, I want to believe that you are one who, who, who subscribes to the fact that if if there is a subsisting court pronouncement until that subsisting court pronouncement is, uh, is reversed by a superior court, that court order should be either. Honorable Shidi, are we, do we agree on that? Yes, Bola. I, I, in fact, I want to thank you for, for, that, uh, for this point that you have made. However, uh, Bola, I know you say that vis-a-vis uh, -vis my current position uh, holding on to office. But I want to say that once parties go before a court of appeal, once records are settled in a the, in the particular appeal, then the court, the court of appeal goes ahead to say maintain status quo. And that the status quo is status quo antebellum. Status quo before the beginning of hostilities. That is where I hold on to. And, uh, you know, uh, Bola, I, 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 I honestly cherish the kind words you used about me at the beginning of this program. I do not, I would not give you any reason not to use those same kind words with regard to my intellectual sagacity and all that. I would not want to make you regret using those kind words. That is why I will at all times endeavor to play by the rules. Okay. Uh, well, and you did say something. That... You did say something. Uh, hello? One other thing I need to quickly put to you. Yeah, the, 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 uh, yeah, you did say something which I would plead should be the subject, the theme of this program. You asked why can't parties uh, sit their sword if uh, Go ahead. parties sit their, their sword uh, so that the courts will, at the end of the day, uh, the uh, that you statement you made. Yeah, okay. can, you, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. It's just your screen that is uh, that is uh, giving you gyrations of a sort. Uh, yeah, it's, you know? uh, it's a technology. So I, we I will surmount it. We will surmount it. Got. But let me quickly yes. put this straight to you, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in, in view of the in view of the unenvisaged or uh, unplanned violence that eventually occurred in the protest that was sanctioned. No, 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 please, sir, please, sir, please, sir. We are on national TV. Don't do what you are doing, sir. Don't what? associate the, the, the bomb with the protest that was carried out by my colleagues and I at different okay. parts of the state. Please, okay. sir. We are on national okay. TV. Okay. We in, view, that. in view, in view of the coincidence of violence that took place, reportedly took place, a, either away from or around the protest that was sanctioned by those of you who claim that your tenor, that your tenor still subsists. Looking back now with the riches, with the riches of hindsight. Do you now believe that it, it shouldn't have, the protest shouldn't have gone on in view of the fact that labor movement reversed its position and the police also counseled against protest? How would you respond to that, sir? 
First, let me quickly say this, that uh, let's even assume that the protest that we, we embarked on, we are, uh, you must know that the protests were conducted in the council headquarters. And all the all local government area where, uh, incidentally, the presidential facility is, the, the local government headquarters is several miles, several kilometers away from the, 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 scene, the scene of the incident. And that is the who you knows that much. That Obiako local government headquarters is in Rumor Dumaya, whereas uh, the presidential hotel is situated somewhere between Rumola and uh, uh, Rumor Dalo. So the distance is, is, there is no correlation between uh, what the protest and what uh, unfortunately took place there. And that is why I say, let's be careful what we say, so that we do not jeopardize uh, uh, the investigation of the police. Okay. So I'm, I'm careful for you to, not to, 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 there is no coincidence, there is no coincidence that we will be able to do that. I will soon lose my assistance. I will come back to you. I will come back to you. Bola, I am still talking. So do not link, do not try to link do not try to link the two activities no, you together made that point. in any that way. That point has been well articulated. Uh, on Thank the you, sir. Lawyer. Thank uh, you, sir. And, 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 and you know, and, and for who you are, I know uh, reiteration and this thing ordinarily, you, you know, uh, I, I got you. I'm following you, even if I can't catch up. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to match you. Uh, um, uh, what are you? We. Now I have a situation. I think, sorry, Mr. Abola. Sorry, I think I should take on because I listen to him carefully. So I think I should just respond to some of the things he said, even without you adding any other. Let me just respond to the things, some of the things he said. Number one, let me clearly state that um, hiding under Section 135 of the uh, 1999 Constitution as amended. To uh, to um, try to manipulate your audience is completely wrong. It is as wrong as anything wrong can be. Now, that section of the constitution talks about the president writing to the national assembly in the case where there is an emergency or there is a, 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 a force majeure. Now, the question is: Is River State at war? Is it true that elections can when, never when, be when conducted did he, when, did he, when did he say that? I, I'm wondering which He said it in the course of responding now this last time. Dr. Lloyd mentioned section 135. He said, because when I talked about the fact that there is no room for tenure elongation in the Constitution, he referred us to section 135. And section 135 is talking about the president writing to the National Assembly. And so if that should even uh, uh, be, uh, 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 if that should even be uh, referred to the case of River State, it means that the state governor should be writing to the National Assembly. And so how can a legislator sit down to make uh, appointments? And you have you are succeeded in doing one thing, first of all, which he claims they are fighting to preserve democracy, they are fighting to preserve uh, 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 paragraph uh, 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 section 7 sub 1 of the 1999 constitution, which guarantees uh, 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 democracy at that level, at that time of government. Now, if you now, in an attempt to preserve the Okay, I'll uh, uh, the light. Now, Bola, uh, let me let me remark. Bola, let me quickly say this. Now, the rights I of the what are you considering? Bola, let so, me. Let me uh, Bola, uh, 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 Bola. Uh, uh, Bola. you are coming back over. You're closing. Bola, can you put the light? You're closing the mark. Yes, because there are other things that he has said. Let me say this. No, he is I'm claiming that the, the protest held somewhere at home, which is not true. 
Uh, what, what what is wrong? Is I'm going to, to send you a video. I'm going to send you a viral video that shows that they went on this protest and they came through about road path of Obama. So what is he saying? Let, let, let me let me give the gentleman his, the opportunity of disclosing a man. You will get yours. Now, Bola, yes, I want sir. to quickly say, I want to thank you for still remaining the moderator of this program. And to say that the section of the Constitution I quoted, especially section 135, uh, was a response to the comment made by Darlington that the Constitution does not contemplate tenure elongation. So I didn't say whether it is at the level of the presidency or at the level of the local government chairman. But I did say, I remember vividly, I say all of the powers, all of the powers to establish the local government, the structure, the finances, and what have you of the local government have been donated to the state houses of assembly by the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amend, 1999 as amended. And that is why Bola, at the beginning of the, of the of this uh, dispensation, uh, 1999, you found that most local governments had a two-year tenure. Some had three years tenure, depending on what the state assembly uh, feels. And I also want to quickly say this, that what the River State House of Assembly has done was in response to an inaction. Now, there is also, in addition to the local government law, the River State Independent Electoral Commission law, which has in one of its sessions that 90 days notice, the, the State Independent Electoral Commission must give 90 days notice before the expiration of the tenure of the incumbents. So 90 days came and passed, nothing happened. The state legislature merely invoked the doctrine of necessity. They invoked the doctrine of necessity for the chairman who are democratically elected to remain. However, one of these arguments will not take us anywhere. These issues are before the law courts. What okay. we can do is await the decision of the court. We will know who we is have right no to do. and we have who no is wrong. To do that. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Chief Thank you very uh, much for least, having me on this program. Thank you very much for your contribution. Uh, Honorable Waju. Yes, in, let me, because in, of in time, because of, of time, quickly, let me say this. Now, even the law that he copiously puts and the, the plank upon which they are carrying a series of protests in River State does not even still empower them to lay claims to being a chairman or chairpersons of councils. Let me tell you why. Now, there is a section in that law which says that where the governor refuses or fails to swear them in, that is for the extension, the extended uh, 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 six months tenure, that a judicial officer, a, a judicial officer should swear them in. Ask Dr. Lloyd, what is the name of that judicial officer that swore him in for the, for, for the extended six months tenure? Okay, this is not fair. Tell that is the who do that the reason we have not been sworn in is because the part of our peace say we should teach our son. Uh, your contributions have been noted. People who have listened and watched can make up their minds. But I must appreciate the two of you for the intellectual vibrancy that you gave to the session today. I, I've learned a lot. I'm chasing the two of you, but this year we have to wrap it, wrap it up. Uh, my name is Steve Bellaba. Ladies and gentlemen watching, we say thank you and have a good evening.